started recording. Time for tutorial. Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Yes, Blue is here now. Blue is here on the tutorial. Tutorial. Yeah, I am fucking. Uh, I, <laughs> did I say curse words? Yeah, I said lots last time. <laughs> I didn't watch it fully because I it was like 9 a.m. Um. Um. What was I saying? Blue is just also making music. Yeah, but I'm not making a tutorial, so y'all listen to purple over here. Yeah, I'm making a tutorial. Alright, first I'm gonna add a track for the vocals and then just make it super long. Very long. Su super. Yeah, like Ew, super what the fuck? Ew! What are you doing? It sounds like fapping. Play it, play it, play it. <laughs> I feel like I hear that in like what's it called? You know that one baby girl song? What? The one from the poop shitters mod with Sans? No. Peanut looking head. No. Damn. I played, it it sounds... on, I played it on stream. I forget everything you do. You do too much every single fucking day. I can't remember a single thing you've done in the past month. Damn. It sounds like fucking neither, fapping! Neither can I. Neither can I remember. I remember you had to go to the hospital. Uh, yeah. I didn't have to go to the hospital, but I... Oh yeah, you had, yeah, you had... I had a threat of going to a hospital. Threat. I gotta let out the cat real quickly. Oh... You know, it's not nice and all. Alright, as you can see, I've turned off auto-dump and I've oh, yeah. opened two slice X. Okay. Yeah, I I, te I teach him how to fucking not auto dump because I figured it out before him. Yeah, because I don't experiment with my plugins because. Yes, but I do. Sometimes. I'm too busy making my music to experiment. Also, I'm gonna open a sound font player because I don't feel like. Uh, actually, you know. You can make layers. Yeah. If you want to. I'm gonna. No. But I don't like making layers. They're too complicated. No. They are. They're, they're, they're like. They're like a click of like three buttons. But sometimes I get confused and I choose the 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 slice sex instead of the layer. All right, now and I'm gonna make two layers and I'm set going to do set this. Children. Make set children. Open this. Make sure it's selected and then set children. I also taught Purple how to, uh, layer. Yes. And then also do it with the second layer. Set children for the second chromatic. Set and boom. children? What a very interesting command. Let me open my... Boyfriend no. chromatic. Bye! And then let me just grab another chromatic. Let's see, what shall I use? Hated shut up while I'm making music. I'll use Bambi, ah! Bambi, Bambi the Bam Bamber. We only make Dave and Bambi music now. I make non Dave and Bambi music sometimes. We, mo we mostly make. Oh, that's a very horrible we see. Never mind. All right, now that I've gotten the layers set. Oh, I like this. I'm putting FL Slayer on this immediately. Why do I teach the people, the peoples, some the peoples. stuff I like to do with vocals? I want to see what you do with vocals. Oh, I forgot to add the effects. You need to mix it now. All right. So basically what I do, I have these already in a preset. 
I just I did too. I learned it. There. I learned I learned it from him. These are the effects that I usually use. It's OTT. You can copy this. I'm just what the on the screen for a second. What does OTT stand for? I have no I'm, idea. I'm looking this shit up right now. I also have protoverb. Protoverb. The boost preset. I just use fucking pretty reverb. But you don't care. And then TDR Molotov. These are the TDR. You can also copy this. What does also oh, TDR Molotov and, and OTT are free? Fruity so don't delay have... too. You can also copy this. Why, <laughs> Brandon? Yeah. When I typed in what does, the 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 one of the fucking uh, like first results is what does Gyat mean? What? <laughs> Look at this shit! Look at- wait, 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 look at this shit, look at this shit. I'll send it, I'll send it. I'll, I'll send this shit, give me a moment, give me a moment. I did a screenshot of it. Hold on, uh, control V. Control V, little bro. Thank you. <laughs> what does Pookie mean? <laughs> what does 444 mean? What does Giat mean? Yeah. What, what does, does Giat mean? mean? What does what does mean? woke mean? What does SOS mean? What does 333 mean? What does Riz mean? What does gaslighting mean? Who doesn't know what gaslighting means? What does 222 mean? Uh, what does OTTBST? Uh, I have no idea what those number things are, but I don't care. Oh wait, I forgot to show the fruity thing. Over the top compression. All That's right. fucking stupid. So lastly, I add a OT stand. OTT stands this. for fucking. OTT stands for fucking over the top compression. Hmm. And lastly, I add a fruity paramic parametric EQ. A bow, bow, one bow. I usually sometimes put up the treble a bit. Slay. I also removed the low end. Er. And since this VF chromatic already has FX on it, it has a. I'm gonna just remove a fruity flank because that's all that I already have on it. Well, actually, I have a fruity chorus instead of a flangus. Sometimes I use fruity choruses instead of flanguses. Fruity that chorus on the like default. Alright. Boom, now that I've gotten the effects on the chromatics, I'm going to show you some cool techniques that I like to use. Techniques. Right. Look at this technique. I just go back to the key that this song was in, which is, I believe, D sharp, if I can remember correctly. D sharp. We love the D's around here. Purple we bottom love... quotes. Fucking horny, horny oranges. And remember when, when your dad put your brother on top of the fridge and they started crying and we both started fucking dying laughing when you just said that out of the random? Oh uh, yeah. I wish I was be... small enough to go on top of the fridge. Just get shorter. Damn. Alright, one thing I like to do is do this. Let me show you. I Bop! It's this. Where it goes, but uh, like a gun. Yeah. <laughs> and here's another thing with long notes. I sometimes like to add vibrato. You just do that by making a slide note, making it really small, and then just doing that. Boom, vibrato. Another thing I like to do with slide notes is this thing. I don't know how to explain it. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Also that's that. called that's called vibrato. That's not vibrato. It sounds like vibrato. Oh wait. That's not vibrato. 
You're right. Yeah, that's a thing that I like to do. Also, sometimes at the end of notes, I like to just move, put a slide note at the end, an octave down, where it goes. Up. Yeah, that's. If you put it really fast together, that's what um Moldy G H used to do with his old songs to make it go like, yeah. Yeah, I understood that. No cues. Um, what is yapping? Alright, I'm already... gonna be a great addition to this video. You're adding so much and keeping us on track. Yeah, while doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. Adding fucking FL Slayer. <laughs> Shout out to my homie's image line for making FL Slayer. Alright. Now it's time to add vocals. Usually I go onto this onto the chords and add the FL vocals. Studio. I go to the chords, switch it to pat pattern mode, and then I just FL start studio. making mute uh vocals. I'll sh I'll start doing FL that now. I'll just skip past studio. this part probably. And then I'll explain it after. All right, time to exp explanation time. I feel like this will be less of a tutorial and more of just me showing my process, but who cares? Probably someone, Tutorial. But I don't. I care. Fuck you. Not, not, I said not, I said not, I said you. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I want to take that out of context so bad. All right, expl explanation time. <laughs> All right. I Go forgot on. to mention one another technique I like to do. It's this thing. I mentioned it in the last video, but I also do it for vocals. Where it goes bleep. Yep. I'm very good at making sounds. Bleep. 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 I love bleep. Bleep. Wow, we this, love bleep this around tutorial here. is gonna have an appropriate length with it's all the be, necessary content. It's gonna have seven hours long of us just bullshitting. <laughs> all right, so basically, I like to use silence. I don't like to have it just go always having a vocal. Like there's a moment of silence there. Pauses. And then a moment of silence there. Yeah, pauses. Pauses are good, so you can, your ear can get a rest. Yeah. I'm worried about anything fucking trash out, so you don't That's have to clear. hear. You, you can explain better. Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, my headphones are about to die. So basically, I like to repeat notes, but in like a different way, kind of. Like you see how this. Is the same as this, but instead it's like a bleep. I don't know how to say it, but a bleep. I'll just call it that. And then a new note. Boom. And this part is kind of like cut off. Because that sometimes sounds good. I don't know how to explain it, but sometimes it sounds good, so do that sometimes. I usually go on for the... Like... Step thing. I usually go on one slash two step because I can get more precise with the stuff. Like this, I would. I'm legally not without. allowed to fuck your mother. Thank you for helping with this tutorial. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no more explanation. <coughs> All right, more explanation. Basically, 
this vocal here, the way I do is I do a slide note on the G sharp to the A sharp, but then the next note is G sharp, and it sounds very cool. I like doing this also a lot, doing the slide note from a G sharp and then going back to another G sharp right after. Well, not specifically G sharp. I don't know why I say stuff like that, but... Going from a specific note, sliding up to another note, and going back to that specific note. That's a better explanation. And then this is just another note. I just choose notes that sound good. Alright. And then this, right after it. Also, I like the follow chord tones. This is an A sharp, which is in the chord. And then a B, which is also in the chord. This, I don't know how to explain this. This is just like, basically like this thing over here. But like, a bit more different. It's like kind of the same. And then over here, this is a technique that I showed earlier. But it's more in action. It's like a jack. It's two of me repeating notes, but no. like with silence no. in between them. It sounds nice. No. I do that a lot. And then back to the D sharp, which is the root note of the thing. This thing again. This one stays for this chord and this chord. And then it goes to that one. And then this thing again. Another thing that I forgot to explain, because I have great memory. This is just a normal note with a slide note to another note. It's like, kind of like doing this, but instead of another note, it's a slide note. And it sounds good, sometimes. And then over here, it's just two normal notes, but like the end is slightly cut off. I feel like adding silence between notes tends to add like kind of more of a punchiness to the vocals, I think. Then this is just like a normal note with a slide note at the end. Then this is... A... <laughs> <laughs> this is like multiple techniques in one. You can combine techniques, ain't that cool? So this is like, kind of like one of these mixed with this, and then also mixed with the vibrato at the end. And that's my very awesome explanation, because I'm amazing at explanationing, explanationing, Explanation in. And then once I do this, I just copy it, cut it. I could just cut it, but I'm scared that I'll somehow mess something up. I go to Bambi, I'll put it in there. And then I will put the boyfriend vocals and move it just right there. And then boom, first vocal. <laughs> Another thing I like to do is pan the boyfriend vocals to the side which they're on, and then the opponent vocals to the side which they're on. 
but very slightly, not fully. <laughs> the first vocal done. Basically I just repeat the same thing just with different patterns for each vocal. Oh yeah. oh yeah! I forgot one last thing. Another thing I forgot. This is something I forgot in the last tutorial actually. Part of the instrumental. It's the drums or something I like to do with the drums. You see? Let me just go to only the drums. There's a mixing thing that I like to do with drums. It's compression. I move their audio to this track and remove it from the master track. And then move it to move all the drums to this one track and remove it from the master track. And now that I've done that, as you can see, all the drums are in this. And then I will either get Fab Filter, Fab Filter Pro C, but that costs money, so I'm going to go with TDR Caldo Nikov. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I do this. I turn up the ratio, up, turn down the attack. Then turn this down, I think, as well. Turn the threshold up. Drum compression, that's where I'm compressing the drums. I don't know what it does exactly because I don't feel like learning that. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a musician. But now the drums, I feel, kind of hit harder. Or it makes my project lag immensely. So I'm just going to turn this off until I'm exporting it because I don't want to deal with lag. I'm going to do a thing on this section because doing it more on this one will just be the same practically. All right, here's this is the slower part. <laughs> Also slower. This, could, this is where I use slide notes a lot more, uh, usually. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Damn, bro, I missed a lot. You didn't miss that much. Alright, time to teach them something new because I've gotten into a part where I need to teach them something new. Okay. A part where a borrowed chord is used. I don't, I've never done that. Alright, time to explain how I use borrowed chords with melodies. Basically, I just use the 
borrowed chords notes and use those to make the melody. Because if you use just the normal scale, you'll, it'll usually just sound off. Alright, as you can see, I used only notes that were in the chord here. As you can see, the B here, it is in the chord. Wait, is it? Yep, it's in the chord right here. Yep. Then the A is also in the chord. The F sharp, also in the chord. Boom. That's how you use barred chords with melodies. Time to continue making my melody. Up the bar. I've done the the slower melody. Let's listen to it. Boom. Slower melody done. Now I'm going to go over here. Put it in the bandy now. And then also put it in the VA. Let's listen. <laughs> make vocals. Alright, now I'm gonna copy this also over here to the second slow part, because usually I'm like that, and I copy stuff over. Because, like, it's nice to have a melody to go back to. Now, time to do the last part. This part I'm gonna do more of a duet thing where they both sing. So for this one, I'm going to do the same thing as the other ones and make a melody. Alright, now time to add some Bambi vocals as well over this gonna be kind of like a call and response thing I think that I'm gonna do where it's gonna be boyfriend singing faster and then boyfriend does like a long note and then Bambi also sings and then stops when boyfriend starts going faster and when the long note goes he goes all right you get it <laughs> Boom! I did the call and response thing where boyfriend goes and then baby goes and boyfriend goes and baby goes. Yep, 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 yep. But at the last part, I did a different thing where they harmonize. The way you do this is pretty simple. It's like how you do chords. Basically, you just put them up like up one, but between a note. What, what am I saying? How am I explain? How do I explain shit? How do you explain shit? Come on, tell me. Okay, okay. Basically, it's just 
how you do chords, but without the third note. All right, time to put this in the channel thing. All right, let's listen to this. <laughs> thing I'll also do the thing where I copy it over because this is meant to be kind of like a chorus all right now I'm just gonna finish the vocals so I've pretty much taught you everything about them oh wait hey, there's one last thing I can teach you about vocals it's this thing where it's just the same note but it's actually different vowels. It's basically where I just make the slide note go to the same note over and over again, but with different like vowels. It has an interesting sound. Alright, that's it. I think. finished with these vocals now I'm frankly finished with the song now I'm just gonna do a few changes <laughs> like a few pauses in the instrumental to just make it sound better and that's pretty much it I'll play the full song now so here I go Bye. <laughs>
And boom. I did it. I finished the song. And by that, the tutorial as well. So I'm going to end it here. So... Uh,